welcome back to our series, Did You Know? And today I'm here with Jo and Gavin, who are two laboratory technicians here at Launceston College working in the science department. And they're going to talk to us about their work in science and about their careers. So what's the best thing about a career in science? Probably uh, the variety. Um, like, depending on your pathway, you can be anywhere from Antarctica to, uh, to working on, um, you know, uh, on viewing planets uh, in distant solar systems. Uh, you know, you could be on a boat, uh, you know, studying marine life. Like, there's a huge uh, range of things that you can do in science. Yeah. Yep. Anything you want to add, Jo? Uh, just. Um, Anything you can imagine in the discipline is, is you can explore. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yep. So tell us about your career journey prior to coming to LC. Oh, okay. Um, I actually started out as a hospital scientist in pathology, and then I moved into um, more of a research method development area and started working in universities with undergraduate and postgraduate students and that's where I found my love of working with students so when the job came up at Launceston College I was like yes that's where I want to work yeah so I applied and yeah. here I am good what about you Gavin <laughs> uh, well I funnily enough I started out as a student here yes. and fell in love with science uh, at LC mm -hmm. and so uh, at the end of year 12 I went what do I want to do I want to be in science but the question was where mm -hmm. um, I decided to take a, a, a year away. Mm -hmm. uh, I didn't want to go uni straight away. Yep. Um, and the TAS TAFE happened to have a course mm -hmm. um, in laboratory techniques. Yep. And so I ended up getting a diploma um, in that. Mm -hmm. um, and then uh, eventually I wound up here. Mm -hmm. um, so okay. it's a full circle. Yep. <laughs> so you went via a, a TAFE pathway? I did. And Joe, did you go via a TAFE pathway or no, a university yeah. one? Yeah, university. Yep. So yeah. There's, a, there's different pathways that you can get into science yeah, for all the different right. jobs that you want to do, yeah. which is great. Yeah. Um, so what about some of the tasks that you do in your role as a lab tech? Tell us about some of the stuff you do. Well, we we do a lot of washing up. <laughs> <laughs> but <laughs> I'm sure there's more than that. No, apart from that, yeah. Um, I guess our main role is setting up and preparing for uh, practicals mm -hmm. for the classrooms. Mm -hmm. um, What's so your favourite practical that you like setting up for, Gavin? It's uh, one of the amazing things about uh, doing the demos and the practicals is that it changes literally from week to week. Mm -hmm. uh, so one week I can be uh, burning hydrogen and making uh, pops in a classroom and the next week I can be working with uh, uh, motion sensors and, and carts mm -hmm. and, and, uh, and then a week later I can, I can be uh, doing something with titrations. Mm -hmm. So uh, I think there are a number of uh, uh, demonstrations which always get the students uh, really interested. Mm -hmm. um, anything involving uh, combustion as it students love things burning. Yep, um, and blowing up. <laughs> but, uh, but uh, you know, there is um, quite a, a fun time to be had do, mm. uh, doing, I'm going to say, uh, anything involving kind of chemicals too. Okay, so about you Joe, what's your favourite um, uh, prep work for which, for which particular thing? I would say the microbiology prax and that's because that's my field so I really get an opportunity to pass on like real world mm. knowledge and experience mm. to the students and mm. and yeah and do you know I love I love it when the first time they see bacteria down the microscope yeah they're, they're just astounded mm. <laughs> mm. <laughs> that just how small, mm. how small I, I think my favorite one would be getting the pucks or is it plucks? Plucks. Getting the plucks ready. I think that would be my favourite one. Uh, that's why I've got my jacket on today, of course, just in case I need to, to do that. Um, but no, seriously, um, there's so many different things that you do that, uh, you know, your day is obviously very full of um, all sorts of exciting things. Mm. So that sounds great. So what sort of advice would you like to give a student mm. who's interested in a career in science? 
But I'd probably say um, being flexible. The pathways in science that are so varied that the pathway you think you're going down in the beginning might not be the pathway you take in the end. Okay. Yeah. So being willing to change your plans yep. uh, if you find something that you enjoy more mm -hmm. or it, perhaps uh, something which doesn't pan out. Mm. So uh, being uh, being willing to make that uh, change. Mm. And you have to love the subject. Yep. Um, if you have a real passion for it, um, that will get you through the hard days yes. uh, where you know you just you don't think you can take in another bit of information into yeah. your head. Yeah. <laughs> when you reach information <clears throat> overload. Yeah. What about yeah. you, Joan? What would your advice be? I I would say go with what you love, um, and you know if you love something, then you'll be successful. At That's it. right. Yeah. No matter wherever you end up. That's right. Yeah. I think there's a, a famous saying that says, um, if you find something that you love to do, you won't work another day in your life. Yeah. Uh, because there's yeah. so much enjoyment in yeah, that. That's right. So that's what we would hope all of our <coughs> students would uh, aim to achieve, to find something to do, a career, a job that they love, and, um, and to be flexible and adaptable and change within that job as well yeah. so yeah. yeah so thanks for talking to me and thanks for lending me the coat because i really have enjoyed wearing that um and i'll see you another time great yeah. thanks, that's good thank you.